Okay, so I know the whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef is going on at the moment. I'm seeing like Drake dish tutorials flying. I'm seeing J. Cole videos flying. And a lot of weird AI tracks as well. But for today, I'm trying to take a break from all that. Maybe wait until someone responds. And until then, I'm going to be going for something slightly more low effort. And I'm just going to flip some samples into some drill beats. Yeah, I think for the first one, I might go with something like maybe a bit darker and something more orchestral. Second one, I might make it a little bit more vintage. So my sample search tool of choice is going to be YouTube, as per usual. Anytime I do live sample searching, I either find a sample immediately within two seconds, or I age decades within the time it takes me to find a sample. There's a YouTube channel I use pretty often for sample searching. I think it's called, I'm so sorry if I pronounce this wrong, Ricardo Maraña. Spanish is very poor. I think it's pretty well known for sample searching. Somehow it wins the most suspicious thumbnail contest. But what I usually do, instead of sorting by latest or oldest, I just sort by most popular. And then I scroll past the first couple because odds are I've probably heard them before. That's when I start clicking. So this one has funny shapes. So I'm going to see what this one sounds like. <laughs> I can't lie, Polish radio orchestras failed me on that one. Okay, funny bald man, don't fail me. Instead of picking the least suspicious thumbnail, I'm gonna pick the spookiest one since I'm going for like a dark orchestral sound. This one looks pretty spooky. I don't actually know what's going on in this one. Okay, I think I found it. So I love the flute in that one. I don't know what it is. The way the flute melody plays off the violin, I'm a big fan of that. Fingers crossed I don't have to do much with it. I feel like it's trying to play in C minor, but probably the vinyl record is an instrument or something. I don't know. I don't know how vinyl works. I have to try and figure out the BPM though. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be so annoying. It seems to me that each individual 4 bar segment goes at a slightly different BPM to each other, which is really annoying because it means I'm gonna have to go bit by bit and then snap them to grid manually. So I'm gonna click on this part of the sample, I'm gonna click make unique a sample, and then I'm going to fit it to the BPM manually. This part here is the end of the bar, drag that out a little bit. This part here is where the sample gets serious. I'm gonna edit this part of the video, but I'm basically just going to repeat the chopping process with the second part of the sample. All right, so here's the chop sample. I've changed the BPM to 140. So now it's gonna sound kind of cursed because I don't have any effects on it or anything. I don't know if I'm right about this, but it sounds to me that the sample is slightly detuned. I'm gonna place pattern one on top of this. <laughs> okay, that doesn't sound great. Yeah, it sounds much closer to C. So I'm gonna detour in the sample slightly until it perfectly matches the root note. And I'm gonna bounce out this pitch down version of the sample and then we can chop it up, see what I can come up with. final shot. As you can see, I haven't really changed much. I can't lie, I think I'm just gonna let the sample carry me for this one. Finally, I can move on to percussion. Jesus Christ. For this beat, I'm gonna use my beloved Imperial Multi-Kit. I'm gonna say a big thank you once again to Jay for sending me this. This is like hands down my favorite drill drum kit, so.
This might be like my most overused drill percussion sound. Okay, that might be enough percussion. Depending on how it turns out, I might actually send this one out to someone. The name is just too cringe. Very memorable 808 drill pattern so far. Probably the most complex I've ever seen. There's two samples I like to use pretty often, and it behaves in a similar way as the generic drill gun shot that you hear all the time. So I'm gonna select all these notes, and I just pan them in different directions, like this. I'm not too satisfied with what the mix sounds like right now, so I'm going to mix everything down and arrange it. I'll add a couple more things and then we can play the final beat. Okay, so this is the beat mixed and arranged. I'm going to add a couple more things to it just to make it sound a bit less boring. I want some sort of like percussion loop. Okay, making a King Julian type beat. Okay, that sounds good. I've also added the generic gunshot like everywhere in this beat. The final thing this beat needs is a couple of drum fills. I haven't put them in the mix or anything, so it's gonna take some trial and error. Maybe one more fill. And now that's done, I'm more than happy to play the final beat. Honestly, I thought I'd have time for a second beat, but I've run out of time to record this one. But before I play the final beat, I wanted to say a big thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration to make beats in this style, uh, this video helped you in some way. And I hope your sample searching was as simple and as painless as mine. But yeah, this is what the final beat sounds like. Yeah.